Hi everyone, this video is going to be for live swatches of Kat Von D's brand new Mi Vida Loca Remix eyeshadow palette. This is a Sephora exclusive eyeshadow palette. It is limited edition and it is being released for the holiday 2015 season. It comes in sort of like a, almost like a record case looking thing <laughs> like this. And you have a tab here and it slides out and opens like this. So this is what the palette looks like inside. It contains 24 highly bold shades that are supposedly remixed from Kat Von D's fan favorite Mi Vida Loca palette that was released previously. And this retails at Sephora for $59. I'll put a link in the description box to where you can find it. So I will swatch all of these shades for you in this video so you can see what they truly look like and you can see sort of how they apply. I'll give you my first impressions on the formula, but if you want to see a more thorough written review with photos of the swatches, which I write after I actually apply these on my eyelids and wear them around, then please go to the description box. I will link the review that will be up at allurebeauty.com after I test them. All right, I hope you're subscribed so you don't miss out on videos like this and the giveaways that I run each month on the channel. Let's get looking at the Mi Vida Loca Remixed Palette. All right, so you can see that each pan is put in sort of this wheel design and luckily the name for each of the shades is underneath each pan. So in the middle we have our more natural shades and then on the perimeter um, we have the brighter more unique colors. So I will probably start with the shades in the middle, swatch them for you, and then I will uh, go sort of clockwise and do the shades that are on the perimeter of the palette. All right, so first I'm swatching Strutter, which is a taupe. It looks like it has a matte finish. Next is Lyric, which is a white pearl. This is, I would say, an off-white with a pearlized finish. Black Metal is a matte black shade. Skulls is an iridescent pearl. So you can see how this is more of a true white and this is more of a cream. Noble is a medium matte nude. This is slightly warm toned. Molder is a matte butter yellow. And Vox is a chocolate brown, also with a matte finish. Okay, so here are the six shades that are in the center of the palette. Next, I'm swatching Muse, which is a lilac purple has a very subtle pearlized finish. Here's Echo, which is a bright purple with lighter purple glitter. Glitter is pretty flaky. Next is Dark Wave, which is a deep navy. Pigmentation on this one is just slightly weaker than with the shades we've seen so far. Synth is an electric blue. Really strong color and pigmentation here. Reminds me of Max. I think it's electric eel, but it, I think this one is brighter. And these both have not quite a matte finish, more of like a satiny finish. Next is Hyper Ballad, which is a sea blue, meaning it's a green blue or like a teal color. Again, it has that kind of satiny finish. And here we have Lemmy, which is a grass green with a metallic finish. Beautiful pigmentation and smoothness on this color. Okay, here are the first six shades for the bright colors swatched. Next is Misfit, which is a Kelly green with that subtle pearlized finish. Vinyl is a neon lemony green with a subtle pearlized finish, but it's a little more metallic. Next is Legend, which is a golden yellow with a metallic finish. Fran is a deep mustard yellow. Looks like this is a matte shade. 
Oh, nope, looking up close, it still has a bit of pearlized uh, specks in it. Analog is a burnt orange, and this one definitely does have a matte finish. And harpsichord, which is a metallic bronze. I don't think this is quite bronze. I think this is more of like an orangey copper shade. All right, there you go with your next set of six eyeshadow shades. Next we have Rewind, which is... Capondi says an aubergine, but this has more maroon in it than a straightforward like aubergine shade and has that subtle metallic finish. Destroyer. It's a bright strawberry. That subtle, very subtle pearlized finish. Swoon. The bright fuchsia. That same very subtle pearlized finish. Love is a really metallic rose. And Anthem is a bright purple with subtle shimmer. All right, and there's your last set of five shades swatched. I must have swatched seven shades with the neutrals. <laughs> I thought I had only swatched six, but anyway, here are the last five shades. All right, so there you have Kat Von D's Mi Vida Loca Remixed Palette for holiday 2015. I think that overall it is a fantastic palette. Kat Von D is pretty well known for doing super bold bright shades very, very well. And I think this palette is no exception to that trend. But the neutrals or the more natural shades were equally, if not even better formulated. They were all very smooth and pigmented. The brighter shades, although all very pigmented and pretty smooth in application, you had a couple shades that had a little less pigmentation, or we had that one shade that had more of that flaky glitter, which never really adheres to the skin very well. But overall, particularly given the types of colors and the unusual um, bright nature of all of these colors, it is a very good palette and stays true to Kat Von D's trend of having very well formulated bright bold colors. But let me know what you think in the comment section below if this is something you would be interested in. I hope that this video helps you decide whether you want to purchase this or not, and if it was helpful or if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video. All right, let's get looking at Too Faced Sephora Exclusive Holiday Kit. So the kit itself comes in a box like this that opens up at the top, kind of like a present would open. And then the box itself folds out and inside you get sort of this pop-up scene here that has three deluxe sample size items. You get the Better Than Sex Mascara, you get one of the Melted Liquefied Lipsticks in the shade Peony, and you get a Shadow Insurance. So I won't really be swatching these for you in this video because I'm going to concentrate on the palette, which looks like this. It's made of heavy cardboard, it's very flat. It does close via a small magnet and it does not contain a mirror inside, unfortunately. These are the colors that you have in here. So we have 18, a total of 18 eyeshadows, and we have two blushes at the bottom here, a highlighter and a bronzer. So here are the shades up close. I won't read each of them to you since they're already printed. You can see them there, but I'll first swatch these three larger sized shadows. They're more like lid shades slash base colors. And then I will swatch them by row and do each row in its own set of swatches. And as you can see, you're going to get a mix of very metallic and glittery shades, but also a few matte shades mixed in, which I always really appreciate. These are the two blush shades that we are getting and then the highlighter, which is shimmery, and the bronzer, which is also very shimmery, so not really a candidate for contouring. It'll only just be bronzing. Also, when I got my kit, this pan was had fallen out, so that's why it's a little bit dirty here, and I did have to press it back into the pan or the well. So I'm going to start with the blushes, actually, and I'm first swatching for you Stardust which is a medium pinky coral shade. Looks like it 
has a matte finish.